like most of us, well, I don't know about most of us, but like a lot of us, I like Lego. I grew up playing with Lego. And as I've gotten older, I've always wondered, what could you really build if you had like unlimited pieces? Because it's, you're never going to have all the right pieces you need. (laughs) You know, when you're a kid, you had, you know, a random bin of Lego pieces and you never had enough pieces you need. And if you did, they weren't the right colors. So what if you had, like, any piece you wanted in any color? I discovered this free program called BrickLink Studio 2.0. It's free to download, and it basically lets you make anything using real Lego pieces. It's basically like a 3D design program that has every single Lego piece preloaded into it. So, like, pretty much every Lego piece that's ever existed is in this program. (laughs) then obviously you can pick the color you want and and piece everything together. And everything snaps together the way you you would expect. So any piece that can kind of snap into another piece, it will kind of automatically just grab and and snap itself. Um, Anything that can rotate, if it's, you know, just one uh, peg attached and it could rotate around on the peg, or if it's one of the, you know, special pieces that acts like a hinge, it knows all that and it lets you manipulate everything. Um, like you could with real Lego. So basically anything that you could build with real Lego, you can build in this virtual program with every single piece you could possibly want in any color you could, well, any color that exists with Lego, I guess, anyways. Um, So that was pretty cool to play with. It's got a built-in rendering program that'll let you either render out an image or a little animation. Uh, So the animation looks like this. Basically, it's, you know, Usually the part will rotate and you can have it, you know, the pieces drop down and it looks like it's being built. Um, and that, that's pretty cool. I thought I could take it a step further and I found a way to import these. Uh, once you've made a, a, a an object in the LEGO program, um, I can export it as an LDRAW file. Uh, and uh, in Blender, there's a free plugin you can get to import the LDRAW file. So you can export the uh, L. The, the studio file is an LDRAW file, and then you can import that into Blender. Obviously, once you're in Blender, if you want to do, you know, more fancy things, you know, put it with other objects or, or, you know, put backgrounds in, you can do all that kind of stuff. So this is just a collection of stuff I've made <laughs> over the last year or so since I've discovered this program. Uh, a lot of cars, obviously. So the Honda NSX is probably one of the best things I think I've designed. Um... You know, I got the V6 in the back and everything, so (laughs) I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the B-52 bomber, I did that about a year ago. thought it was pretty clever at the time, putting, you know, working flaps on the back of the wing. Uh, more recently, I did the Canadian Avro Aero. A lot of cars again. Got this Ford Thunderbird uh, Super Coupe with a little chrome supercharger under the hood. Uh, I did this uh, Mazda RX-7. I guess it was supposed to be like an FC, uh, but sometimes I see the FB or the FD in there (laughs) depending on the angle. Uh, in Blender, I eventually figured out how to make the some of the pieces look like they were lighting up. Um, so I've got like the headlights and the taillights on the cars lighting up and some of the, the Blender renders. So that's pretty cool. You can add a little bit more realism to it. Uh, from here all out, it's basically just video game consoles. I 
did basically every popular video game console and computer <laughs> that I could think to do in Lego form. Uh, and I think a lot of these are pretty good. Um, but I'll just leave it there. I'll let this play off. Uh, like I said, it's pretty much all video game consoles from here. So enjoy.